present to you the dark saber. It does sound really cool. Bright suns, everybody, and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. We're back on planet in Batu at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland because they have released a new legacy lightsaber. So we had to come back. Yes, the dark saber <laughs> has been unleashed from the Mandalorian and Star Wars Rebels and Clone Wars, and we are here to acquire it. And also, there's a ton of other merchandise here on the outpost. So come with us on this adventure. Before we head over to Doc Ondar's to pick up that legacy lightsaber, we've heard there's some shipments of some new goods here in Batu, so we're gonna check that out first. We're gonna start things out at Droid Depot. Last time we were here, when we were at Star Traders, we saw the Star Wars Pride Collection, the Rainbow Collection. They're celebrating Pride Month with a bunch of Star Wars merchandise over yeah. off world. But I guess they're also celebrating it here on Batu with this rainbow panel collection, which is kind of cool because you can now deck your, your droid out, your R-Droid, with all sorts of colorful rainbow colors. And before, you could only do it with like some of these primary colors, so like red, blue, orange, black, white, or if you wanted others, that stickers. But now, you can get all crazy. Saka's kettle, where they serve the kettle corn, is still closed, but they're selling the mouse droid over here at the Coke cart, and it's $16.50, and you get your choice of either the chocolate popcorn or the garlic chips. This is $7 by itself. So like, double that, and you get like a cool souvenir. We're gonna go check out the marketplace because we heard that they got some shipments that you know got lost in translation that were supposed to be here around May the 4th, but they're finally making their way here to that too. Transmission. <laughs> Transport. Transportation. Transportation. <laughs> Anyways, there's some new fun stuff in the marketplace, and I'm so excited because I feel like it's been a really, really, really long time since there's been new Galaxy's Edge merchandise. Yeah. And I got some good stuff, trust me. So there's a couple new creatures over at the creature stall that we're looking to adopt today. Let's go check them out. This is a lava meerkat. They're from the planet Navarro. They have a diet of fire ticks. Oh, so yeah. if you have bugs in your dwelling, this uh -huh. is a good creature to have around. What is his little his little earring? Is that Oh his <laughs> his little tag. Oh, oh okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you're wow. welcome to it's a very yeah. nice e stylish <laughs> earring. <laughs> we'll just pretend it's jewelry. Yeah. Yes. D does he make any noise? He does. Yes, they get very oh, happy when you pet them, especially oh, on the yeah. head. Oh, they God. got a little chittery oh, squeaky oh, sound. Oh, they're so cute. They're very soft, too. You're welcome to pet, if you'd like to. Oh, hello! It reminds me of my dog, Gizmo. Oh. They look very similar. I've I got to this off-worlder creature called a dog. Yeah, they're, they're very cute. But okay. I got to say, this little guy, you add the fire element, and he, like, Yeah, I hear mean, he breathes fire. Yeah. They're, fire is nothing to them. Okay. It's so <laughs> nice to meet you. You're very yeah. cute. Oh wow. Oh, that's yeah. cool. I like that. Yeah. Very independent creatures, yeah. but they love companionship. Okay. I might have to get one. Yeah. In case you're wondering where the lava meerkat is from, this little guy could actually be found in The Mandalorian with Cara Dune on season two. You might remember them. They kind of almost look like ferrets. Yeah. But uh, I guess they're, they're lava meerkats. And I gotta say, they are pretty adorable. Seeing it in person, like, how could you not love this little guy? <laughs> but this was like her pet, right? Yeah. Like on the show? Pretty cool little dude. And you know this little guy, he's a wolf cat, he's from Lothal. You might recognize him from Star Wars Rebels. There's one over there, he's sleeping in a cage, don't wake him up. But the, you might not know that the wolf cats are part of the Tuca cat family. Tuca cats are more domesticated. 
and they they now got a new Tuca cap. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, he's blue and yellow. I don't think we've seen this colorway in in the animated series. I think maybe Clone Wars, but it might be something that's unique just to Batu. You know, Tuca cats come in all different colors. You, and say, we, you say that he's more domesticated, but he seems just as vicious, or just, he just as grumpy as the other one. Yeah, I mean you don't want to you don't want to piss them off. Oh, yeah. I can hear. It oh, purr. that's so funny. Yeah, it's purring. Now, watch his eyeballs. Oh, they're so and then, cute. Watch his mouth. Ah! <laughs> I love him. Look at those eyes. I love yeah, the blue I like eyes. I love the eyes. So cool. Uh -huh. Awesome. Any purrs. <laughs> you hear that? It sounds like Gizmo. <laughs> oh my god, he's so grumpy. <laughs> it's okay, you just gotta pet him and he'll start purring. Over at the Toy Darian Toy Maker, they have a, a bunch of new toys, including three new plushes, including this cute Doc Ondar plush. <laughs> How amazing is this? I've been waiting for the Doc Ondar merchandise to arrive, and finally it's here. Yeah, what took them so long? Yeah, and of course they also have a Jar Jar Binks, who's been, who's single-handedly responsible for the, the fall of the Republic, and of course Darth Maul, who, here you see him in one piece, not two. <laughs> Spoiler! So one of the things I love here at the Marketplace is there's so many things that feel like they're like handmade little, like, wooden toys. Like they have the Millennium Falcon, they have X-Wings, and uh, TIE Fighters, and now they have metal versions. Oh wow, they're heavy. This is like the real deal. Yeah, I told you it was metal. Wow, this is actually really cool. Yeah, so that's the Falcon, and then they also have the TIE Fighter. I like, I like the gold on it too. Yeah. And then they also have this little guy. Wow. Oh, look at the gold on him. Oh, He's fancy. I might actually buy that. There's so much stuff I want. I this know. Trip. This is becoming a real problem. Yeah. <laughs> you know what the cool thing about these is these are actually inspired by the stuff that's on the ceiling here. Oh, yeah. So, so I'm not sure if you know this, but on the ceiling here at the Toy Darian Toymaker is a bunch of dioramas showing you know, scenes from stories that have reached the far edges of the galaxy. So yeah, I don't think it's quite the same scale as the ones up there, but yeah, it's definitely not that scale. That, that Falcon is pretty huge. The real question is, when are they going to make that Star Destroyer? <laughs> I want one that big that looks exactly like that. <laughs> Just kidding. The cool thing is there's like so many like little knickknacks and toys up on like the, the upper levels that they could eventually release here at some point. One of the most surprising new additions here at Galaxy's Edge is in the Black Spire Outfitters. And here is where you normally suit up to become a Jedi, but they've added some stuff from the Mandalorian, including this Boba Fett mask. And this is a half mask. It's a voice changing mask. It's for kids. So it doesn't go all around your head. So if you want like the full on thing, you still want to get that Black Series, uh, you know, replica mask. But the cool new addition is this right here. It's Boba Fett's jetpack. Oh and this, my god. This includes a launching missile, lights, and authentic sounds. So this is the launching missile that you put into the jetpack. And I'm not sure if you remember this, but we did this video for the Mandalorian saying things that should, in the Mandalorian that should be added to Galaxy's Edge. And this was one of them. So I'm, I'm excited yeah. that they finally... They were listening. They watched our video. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? I saw people online talking about this, and they were saying it was a kid version. But this looks like it might actually be the full size one. So if you if you had the skills, if you're like in the Mubo's droid building group, you had the skills to like to paint it up, this could look really good for a cosplay. So if we measure the width of this, looks like it's about almost like a foot. And actually the real one is 15 inches. So it is a little bit smaller. It's about three inches small. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could still use it as an adult, but I'm sure it's perfect.
There's also a few new shirts in here. This one is kind of hard to tell, but it's black. And you can see, if you look closely, the mythosaur right there. See if there's anything on the back. Nope. Ooh, I kind of like this. I don't need another black t-shirt, but I do like this. Yeah, and of course, like anything in Batu, it has that arabesque inseam. And then for children, they have the Boba Fett helmet, and I'm guessing this says Boba Fett. That's what I'm gonna guess if I had to. Yeah, to probably. Guess. But this one's really fun too. With the, I guess there's like the mythosaur kind of behind it. I love this design. It's like graffiti. Oh, I didn't even see that in yeah. the green. Yeah. I love the colors. Very cool. Well, we did find out that they did have the mythosaur cup. It was like a ceramic cup, kind of like something you find in Oga's. Had the mythosaur skull on one side. Sold out yesterday. They're gonna get a restock. From what I hear, all this stuff was originally supposed to be here for May the 4th. Like they were supposed to have a ton of new merchandise, but because of the pandemic, everything's been delayed. So all these shops are getting more and more merchandise every day. And uh, this is not the end of it. We even found a new hat in the Jewels of Bith store. This was the old version, which is pretty cool. It says Black Spire Outpost. This is the new and improved Black Spire yeah, the old one had like the Skyline and the Millennium Falcon. This one has, this is the Black Spire Outpost, like, but two symbol. Yeah, this is like the secret symbol that if you know, you know. Is there anything on the back of it? Uh, my guess is it just says Black Spire Outpost back here. Does the old <laughs> one have it? No. no. What does the old one have? BSO. BSO. Interesting. I like the new one a lot better. I like them both. <laughs> Now it's time for the main event. We're going in Doc Ondar's. <laughs> We're, <out of> <laughs> We're getting to look at the Doc Saber. I don't know whose voice. I don't know. I'm sorry. Did you see that wearing my uh, Death Star earrings for the occasion? I'm feeling extra dark side today. Go get that Doc Saber. Sorry, I don't know. And now it's time for the main event. We're going to dock Ondar's Den of Antiquities to get our hands on that dark saber. There's only one of them in the universe, and Doc's gonna sell it to us. Look it. It's you! Oh. I don't think he seems. He's not interested. interested. To activate it, you're gonna press that silver button right there. Ooh, okay. I don't know. It's kind of cool that you just like push this button. I feel like the other ones, like you gotta like do the switch super hard. Yeah, and I love that it has like the light up through the through emitter. Here, yeah. Where Ray's didn't, so this does that. All right, I think we're okay. Let's get. It. We're gonna. Get... Okay. All right, we'll, we'll take one, please. All right. Yeah. Of course. You really thought we weren't gonna. In the buying one. <laughs> you know, wars were made and fought to get that sword, and we're, we just put down some credits. Yeah, it was really easy for us to attain. Like, why didn't everyone just. Well, like, we're buying a replica. Like, <laughs> 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 right, don't have bags. Yeah, we don't have any large, large bags anymore. It's okay. Look at how big this is. Oh, it's much bigger than a normal lightsaber. Yeah. Okay. This box is kind of comically huge. Look how big this is. Yeah. It's like a it's like a, one of those huge subs from Subway. <laughs> it's much bigger than that. Yeah. And also this symbol right here is the clan Vizsla symbol. Uh, Vizsla was the first Mandalorian who became a Jedi and he was the first one to wield the dark symbol. Ooh, fancy. See, this is why we're lucky to have Peter here because I would have never known that. I was just like, ooh, it looks cool. Yeah, I will say that this box is so big. I don't think it's gonna fit on our shelf with our other legacy lightsaber cases. Yeah, we're, uh, we might have to get rid of this box. I'm sorry, Peter. And it, get rid of what? No, okay, we won't get rid of it. It just won't be displayed. <laughs> yeah. But another thing, it's not, they're after us. It's not like a hard plastic like the other ones. I don't know if you could tell, but it's like, just like a cardboard, like a really sturdy cardboard. Oh, is it magnetic? Oh yeah, it must put it, be. Put it back down again. 
Oh, I, I love anything magnetic. I kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> I present to you the dark saber. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying it like that. It does look pretty cool. It is pretty awesome. It's definitely a, a different look than any other saber I've ever seen. But one thing I'm initially feeling is it does not feel as heavy as the the legacy other legacy lightsabers in there. Really? Yeah, like we recently got the Ray Saber and we got the Leia Saber. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll put them right up there. Go check them out. But uh, this doesn't feel as heavy as those. It still has a good weight to it because it's obviously made of metal, but it just doesn't feel, maybe because it's smaller. You know, know, one thing that I immediately see is it's thinner yeah, than maybe the other that's sabers. Why. Like, the Ahsoka Rebel Saber is often criticized for being too thick. It's supposed to be like a katana blade, kind of like this. this. It seems like they were able to get it down and make it a little thinner. Yeah, it's almost like squished on the side. Yeah. I don't wow. like that right there. Oh, this? Yeah. yeah, what is going on here? Yeah, that's the belt. Why didn't they make that black? Why is it? Yeah, why is it chrome colored? I mean, if you want, you can unscrew that and take it off, but... Interesting. That is so strange. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to spray paint it black or something. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the stand, and to be honest with you, it looks a little plasticky for my taste. Yeah, it feels <laughs> really cheap. Yeah. Not most of the legacy savers don't come with a stand, so this is something that comes out of the box, so I can't fault them for giving me a stand, but it does look cheap. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. I mean, I guess you don't really notice how cheap it looks once you put the saber in. <laughs> I mean, we're, in reality, we're not going to use this stand. Nice little bonus perk. Okay, let's see let's what see. else is in here. Oh, it looks like that might be to get to the batteries because Ooh. you need like a little tool. Oh, fun. Get to the batteries. <laughs> and then underneath this foam, Ooh. there is the sword, yeah. the blade, I mean, should say. This is why the box is so big. Yeah. None of the other legacy savers come with the blade. So this is the only one that comes with the blade. I don't even know, is this the right way or does it face the other way? I think that way. Fake fan. All right, it's in. That was easy. Yeah. Okay, it does feel obviously a little bit heavier with the blade on there. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. Sounds really cool. We're gonna have to obviously show this when we get back home at night to yeah. really see what it's like. But it's like flickering and stuff, you can't really tell. This is awesome. Oh, I accidentally turned it off. When this saber first appeared at the end of season one of The Mandalorian, I was like, we need a legacy saber of this. I was so excited to get my hands on this. And it does feel cool in the hands, but I gotta admit, the blade feels a little like plasticky. It feels like it feels like it could easily break. Yeah. I would not even, you know, jokingly spar with a person with a lightsaber with this. The whole thing in general is just very light compared to the other ones. So there's a Hasbro Force Effects Elite Black Series replica coming out later this year. And it's $250, so it's $50 more than this. I gotta say from the pictures online, it looks better than this. The one thing, and of course we don't have them in hand, so yeah. we're, we're going off uh, the marketing images, which have been, you know, painfully painted and whatever. <laughs> yeah. But the thing I don't like about this is how thick this little area is uh -huh. compared to this. It, on the the one on Hasbro, it looks like this is thinner. I don't know. I want to see what the Hasbro one looks like. Also, the Hasbro one has rechargeable batteries, where this has like what is it, triple A's or whatever. So I'd say if you're excited about owning a dark saber. Maybe wait until the Black Series is out and see. That stand even looks cool. The stand even looks cooler from the Black Series. What was the price difference? This was 200 and it was 250 for the, hmm. the Black Series. I don't know. 
that maybe the Black Series will... Well, watch out. Watch out. Nope. You almost cut your finger off there. What are you doing? Maybe the Black Series will feel more plasticky, and I like that this feels metal. Out of the three new sabers that have come out recently in Galaxy's Edge, I thought I was going to be most excited about this one, and I think I'm least excited about the quality, to be honest with you. But, and also, the other thing that's weird is the Dark Saber usually has like these like lightning streaks in the black, and this is just like a pure black. There's no like pink, like. Oh. oh, yeah. I don't know, like when you see it on screen, it usually has kind of like these. Yeah, 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 it looks cracked or something. Yeah, cracked. I'm not sure how you would have reproduced that. I want to see the center, is what yeah. I want to see. <laughs> but, but this is cool. This is, this, this is really cool. I just, I, I have a, I, I'm critical. It's basically what I'm saying is yeah. I have some critiques. And also, the, the other thing, how's this come out? You press a button for it to, oh, look at that. So you press in right here. Well, no, you don't press that. Ah, my hand. So you press in right here. And it comes out like a charm. <laughs> my hand. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? I don't know, let me try it. So at the bottom of these cases usually have all the instructions that you need to know, like how to assemble the display. Oh, and here, what does it say here? Press and hold the button and pull a blade. Ours might be broken. Cause it's it's pushed all the way in and first of all, I can't get it out. Like it doesn't come out, like it's stuck in. Oh. And this like isn't. I'm kind of disappointed with this too. I feel like this is like the icing on the cake. What is going on here? This was $200. It's a lot of money. Are we gonna have to go return it and get another one? I don't know. Cause it's in, the button's in. I like, I can't get it out. I did it. Okay, that that's another strike against it. I'm sorry. Oh, maybe, let's see. I think there was something stuck in there originally because now I can, I got it. What was stuck in there? There was like a little piece of plastic I saw. You mean a piece of saber? Yes. Kyber crystal? Piece of kyber crystal. Okay, we get it guys in case we're worried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I, I would say if you're excited for this, I'd wait a little bit longer for the force effects to come out. Let's see those side by side. Yeah. Well, let's see what this is like once we get home in the dark. Yes. <laughs> I want all units searching this outpost. If they are here, they will not escape. It doesn't matter why they came to Batu. They're not going to leave. Extract the transmission logs from that data pad and wipe the memory. Understood. Yes, sir. I'll ask someone to do that. Wipe the device, or I wipe every thought from your head. Understood. Granted. We just made it home, and it now is the moment of truth. Let's see what this bad boy looks like in the darkness. I like how it strobes. Yeah, I don't, the tip of it though is like dark though. Do you yeah. see that? I noticed that in Doc Ondar's and I thought maybe it was just like that one that was like that, but and also, these don't light up all the way. Only like the top two light up. Yeah, the one in Doc Ondars did the same thing. Really? I guess yeah. I just didn't pay attention. It does sound really cool. Swimming around. Ooh. Well, I think you just hit it off. I know. I was like, this is really touchy. Like, I've actually turned this off and on like 5,000 times already. You look a big swing. Oops, I just turned it off and on again. Sorry. Watch out. It sounds really freaking cool. Yeah. It sounds like unlike any of the other ones. I mean, it is unlike any of the other ones. You know the other thing I don't like about the top of it? Can you bring the top down? Uh-huh. 
is, I'm not sure if you can see this on the screen, but you can see the LEDs. Oh, you can? Yeah, can you see that? Oh, yeah, you can. They're like sticking out from behind that black tape. Why don't tape. they go all the way to the top either? Like it's weirdly dark up here. Yeah, and the other thing I've noticed is down here. Oh, you can see them. Wow. Down here there's like a... The tape like cuts off. What? Yeah, what, why is that? Is it just on that side? No, it's on both sides. Why is it like that? I don't know. Is that mm. weird? I feel like we got the first draft and they're going to come out with like <laughs> a the version. second edition and it's going to be like perfect. Yeah. But I mean, I, I'm not mad at these noises. Seeing this lit up at night is kind of redeeming it for me because I was kind of underwhelmed by this. I'm not going to lie. But you're right. Point Like this appears so annoying. Yeah. I'm not sure you can see that on, on camera. You just have to believe us. It's yeah. like getting one of those like LED strips like at Home Depot or like wherever, like on Amazon. Yeah. Like we have a bunch of those all over our house and it's just like, that's all I'm going to notice now. Yeah. Hmm. I know that's very nitpicky, but it could be better. Yeah. It could be better. It could be a lot better. If you want to see more of our lightsaber videos, we'll put a playlist right over there. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Cynthia Santos, Kent, Dale Baker. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Probably, Probably not from Batu or Disneyland. You never know, though. There they could be another, another... If there's another lightsaber, we'll be there. We'll, we'll get there somehow. <laughs>